Firstly, thank you for helping to put our native plants back into our landscape. We're sure you'll love them. Secondly, thank you for buying your seed through Habitat Aid. We work with a top quality community of small British suppliers and conservation charities, so you can feel doubly good about using us. Whether you're establishing a wildflower patch in your garden or making a meadow area with wildflowers and grasses, there are several basic things you can do to improve your chances of success. Folk can have problems caused by sowing the wrong seed or old seed, poor preparation of the site, or a rather less fair approach to management. What is the wrong seed? Make sure you have the right mix for your soil type, situation and requirement. You might love scabious, for example, but if you've got clay soil, you're not going to have any joy growing it. Most meadow flowers will do poorly in shade. Do you want grasses as well as wildflowers in your seed mix? I hope you do. They're lovely and excellent for biodiversity. Most mixes include 80% grasses and 20% wildflowers, but you can get different proportions or, or just wildflowers if you like. If you want colour in the first year, add some cornfield annuals to a perennial mix. They'll look lovely and will help suppress any weeds. You can also buy the wrong seed by buying it from the wrong supplier, which means you might get non-viable seed. It might have come from outside the UK, which takes you into issues with provenance and appropriateness, quite apart from the non-native species which might creep in. Habitat Aid Seed all has a guaranteed UK provenance. It's top quality and we test it regularly just to be sure. So you've decided which seed to buy, what do you do next? You'll need to sow it on bare earth with as little grass and weed in as possible. You wouldn't sow carrot seed by throwing it on your lawn and wildflowers are no different. To this end, you can employ three strategies. The nuclear option. Strip off the topsoil. Stripping's the best solution as it's environmentally sounder, does a more complete job and removes the fertile soil. The poorer quality your growing medium, the better, as it will discourage grass, nettles, dock and thistle. If you can, rotivate or hoe the site and pounce on any weeds which come up. Plan B is less dramatic. Cut out squares of any existing turf, replace with a mix of 50-50 sand and topsoil and sow your wildflowers into the squares. Unless you establish yellow rattle, which we'll talk about in a moment, it's a doomed strategy though as the surrounding grasses will just take over. The last option's the fiddliest and takes longer, but the least aesthetically unappealing in the short term. Chain harrow or rake your existing sward and cut it very short in the late autumn until you can see at least 50% earth. Then sow and tread in the rattle seed. Yellow rattle is an attractive, semi-parasitic meadow annual which attaches itself to grasses and reduces their vigour. It has to be sown in autumn because it won't germinate unless subjected to a prolonged cold bout. The idea is that the rattle will knock back the grass and then, the following autumn, you can repeat the treatment but sow your wildflower mix rather than the rattle. It might not work, uh, it's a fickle plant, although it's done the trick for us when we've tried it. You can sow in spring or autumn. Whenever you're sowing, though, the perfect weather is when it's wet and warm. If you're broadcasting by hand rather than machine, it's difficult to see where you've been and how much to sow. So measure out, say, a 10 square metres worth of seed and mix it with an inert carrier like sand. Although we rotivated this site last autumn, it doesn't look like it now, so a quick rake over will tidy it up and give it a nice tilth. Once you've sown the seed, lightly roll it or tread it in. Some seeds will germinate amazingly quickly, so keep an eye on the seedlings and make sure they don't dry out. If you don't have any annuals in your mix, keep it cut to around 10 centimetres throughout the first summer after sowing to stop annual weeds developing and to keep the grasses suppressed to allow the wildflowers to develop. Managing the area is easy. Keep weeding out anything you don't want or anything aggressive that pops up. Thistles are problematic, for example. If you have them, make sure the grasses don't overwhelm the wildflowers. If necessary, you can regulate them with rattle. Cut the meadow short in the late summer or early summer if you want to use the hay and keep it trimmed over the winter. Always remove the cuttings to reduce soil fertility. 
And that's about it. This is a very brief introduction to the topic. Do have a look at the information on the website for further help. If you're really stuck, just give us a call, and if we can't help, one of our consultants will be able to.